Yes team, what's happening? So today is completion day on my uh, new house. First house that I've ever bought. Um, I've been saying all along like it doesn't really, it didn't feel real and today when <laughs> I come pick up the keys, now it feels fucking real. So all, all I wanted to do is do like a quick empty house tour if you like for a couple of reasons. One, to show you guys like when I was looking for houses, I love watching people's empty house tour. Um, don't know why, just a bit of a nosy bastard. I think we all are sometimes, aren't we? And for two, it's a pretty, it's a big occasion, right? Buying your first home, pretty momentous sort of um, occasion. So I want to look back on it in years to come and just have those sort of memories. So it is a three bed, semi types. It's just me living here. Um, and I'm going to tell you why I went for a three bedroom as we go around the rooms and stuff like that. So yeah, let's flip you round and let's get into it. So obviously here we have the front door. I'm not gonna go go out there. Hopefully my camera skills are gonna be all right. I'm pretty good with it. So as you walk in, we've got the landing and we've got downstairs toilet. Little thing about new builds, yeah, because this is a new build. By law now, they have to have a downstairs toilet. Must be for like the disabled access and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, by law, all new builds have to have um, a downstairs toilet apparently. Love this. Probably spend uh, most of my time in here when I'm downstairs. So pretty simple, it's just a toilet with a, a little wash basin, isn't it? In terms of all the flooring that you're gonna see, when you get a new build, you have to have the flooring extra. This didn't come with, with it, so I chose like a Barrett's, uh, which is a company I got my house from, to put all the flooring in because I just wanted to be able to move sort of straight in. So as we come through at this door, this is the living room. Didn't want to bang that door, what a dick, typical of me. So living room, love the, the colour of these carpets. Um, I'm quite a basic sort of dude, so everything in my house, in this house, is going to be like black, grey, white, neutral, minimal sort of uh, sort of colours. So here, obviously empty at the moment. So the plans for this is, this is going to be wallpapered, this wall. We're going to have a TV on the wall. Um, and then I've got a L-shaped sort of corner sofa which is going to sit along along here, along this area with a little seat, still a building site outside so <laughs> with a little seat, it's going to go in here and then this is quite a big area so I'm probably going to put something in there to like um, um, a cupboard or something like that don't know, a few plans for that but definitely a TV on order to go on the wall uh, corner sofa and then a little white shelving unit like a floating one that sticks to the wall we're going to get in there so as we come through into the kitchen, love this flooring that I chose as well. Um, wasn't sure, because I've been coming up to this plot and looking through the windows as it's been going up, and I wasn't sure when it first went in, but I could only look through the window. When I've seen it proper, absolutely love it. So kitchen dining, open plan. Um, now, because I bought this house, I chose it when the roof was already on, the colours of the kitchen and the worktops, I didn't get to choose. Um, the, I think the sales team chose them, but it is like an upgraded sort of kitchen, so quite lucky in that respect. And I really, really like it. I like the white finishes, the great sort of worktop. I love it. And I was very lucky um, to be able to get all my integrated appliances as well. So we've got fridge, freezer, fridge, freezer. I've got a little dishwasher. and a washer dryer, which is mega, really happy with that. Save you a few quid. Um, and then obviously we've got the oven, extractor fan, hob. So really happy with this. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna wallpaper this wall um, as well. I've got someone coming to do that next week. And a dining table, I'm gonna get in here. I've just not chose what sort yet. We have a little storage cupboard under the stairs, which is where I'm gonna stick all my cleaning stuff. Um, and hoovers, all that sort of shit, coat rack probably, um, internet box there. Unfortunately, I've just moved in and um, I can't get Wi-Fi for another week. And because of where I am, I'm going to show you the garden actually and then you'll see where I am. Absolutely beautiful view. We're out in the sticks in a place called Buxton in the Peak Dis District, but the 4G is shite. So I'm going to be stuck without the internet, really. Uh, but hey ho. Only a small blip. Love the size of this garden. The turf's only just gone down. Quick tip for you guys on new turf as well, if you're getting a new build and it's turfed. They've said don't walk on it for six weeks because it can kill it and imprint it. So, and keep watering it. Luckily it's been raining today, so it'll be watered. 
But decent sized garden for a new build, really happy with this. Be having some fun times in there with the lads. So leaving the kitchen, back through the living room, and then we will go upstairs. So, so you upstairs we've got the main bathroom. Again, I did not choose, excuse me, any of these tiles, but I absolutely love them. Like I say, I'm a basic guy, I'm going for a minimalist sort of look, grey, so I love these tiles. I did choose the vinyl flooring. <sighs> Toilet, you all know what that fucker is. <laughs> Shower, bath, I've not had a bath for over two years now, so hopefully, I mean, I'm six foot two, I hope I get in that. I've not tried yet, hopefully I will do. Love these tiles though, really happy with this. Looking forward to having a good soak in the bath. Now, this is the, so it's a three bedroom, like I said. This is the second double bedroom. Let's see if you can get, like I say, still new estate, so still a building site at the moment, but we're not fussed about that. So see if you can get an idea of the size of this room. With it being a new build, the rooms aren't huge, but they're big enough for me, just myself living here. So this is where, I'm going to have like probably put a TV on the wall. I don't know whether I'll put a TV on the wall over here and have like my bike and my turbo for when it's rainy, my decks in here, sofa bed in here. So a bit like a games room and a chill room really, I think, for this room. That's the plans anyway for this second double bedroom. And we're coming out of here along the hallway. We've got a little storage cupboard in here. So I'm going to get some shelves put in here to stick all bedding and towels and all that sort of good shit. And then this is, this is probably going to be my most favourite room in the house. I'm so excited. I'm a proper geek, but I do work from home. You guys know what I do. I'm a coach from a type 1 diabetic. So a lot of my stuff, well, all my stuff's online. It's at home. So I'm going to have, this is going to be my very own office. I'm going to actually have a full office room. And the plans for this is I'm going to probably paint it dark blue. One more dark blue and one wall white and I'm gonna have a sit stand desk I don't know where I'm gonna lay the desk out yet but I'm super excited because I can bring loads of good content to you guys my podcast just be able to switch myself off in here crack on with work and then I know when I leave this room work's done work's done so really really looking forward to turning this bad boy into an office and this is gonna be the master bedroom my bedroom So again, the plans for this in terms of decorating is I've got some really, really nice wallpaper. I'm going to stick along this back wall. I've got a bed that's going to go in between here and run down there. And I'll show you the views out here as well. Like I say it's a building site at the moment, but this is meant to be a community centre here. But I don't know if the council are letting it go in. So we don't know what's going to happen with that yet. But look at these views. Incredible. Especially good for me because I love cycling and being outdoors. So that's why I chose this area. So... I say my bedroom in here i'm gonna have like a wardrobe fitted in that little cove and probably a chest of drawers and a couple of bedside tables and then ensuite had to get more moving ensuite love this again i didn't pick these tiles these gray tiles but i love it um i picked the flooring just like in all the others and then you've obviously got your shower your shower in there and then we're back out <laughs> I have to make sure I switch all these fucking lights off. Electricity bill, pal, before I go. So I've not even, I've not even bought anything in yet. So I've got a car full of crap. And yeah, back to where we started. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little new home tour. I'm probably going to be spending most of today lugging shit in and out. You know, I'll be honest with you, I start from scratch. So I've come straight from my parents' house. So I literally had, let's say nothing. Do you know what I mean? Nothing really. So it has been, um, people always say saving for a house is difficult and stuff. We know it's expensive buying a house, but it's been more expensive on the side of kitting it out for me in terms of saving for a deposit and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, once it's done, it's done, isn't it? And I'm finally on the property ladder. Super excited. When I start building it up and getting stuff in, I will do another video to show you guys how it's coming along. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Catch you all soon.